I bet you've had the rave about the Fidelity Bank offer. Let's dive in. I will not only be showing you step by step how you can key into this opportunity, but let's even first answer the important question. Should you be investing in this Fidelity offer or not? Welcome to this channel. If you're about securing the bank, investment, passive income ideas, side hustles, this is the place for you. On this channel, we are all about making money, growing money, and growing wealth. Let's get right into the video. First of all, what is public offer? It's very simple. So Fidelity Bank is saying, Come and be a part of us. Come and invest in our shares. So they're making their offer open to the public, public offer. You and I can invest into this company, okay? So why should you do that? What do you gain from investing in shares? Generally, when you invest in shares, there are two ways you make money. Number one is through dividend payment. When I say dividend, it's like this. You know, a company makes profit. At the end of the day, they can decide to share part of that profit to people that invested in their shares. So they will declare dividend and pay every single person that have shares in that company. So does Fidelity Bank pay dividend? Yes, they do. I think in the last two years, they paid two times in a year. And um, over time, like consistently, they've been paying dividend. That is one way to make money from the share market. Where you make money from investing in shares is price appreciation. So let's use, for example, this Fidelity offer is currently going for 9 naira 75 Kobo. You can buy it now. You can come back in the next year and the price is now 12 naira, 13 naira. Do you get so that is another way you make money because then when you now sell it, you are selling it at a price higher than what you bought. Imagine you have like 10,000 units and you're making a profit of like 33 naira each. Multiply it, it decent money and it can go as high as possible. That is one way people make money from shares. So, we've talked about how you can make money. What are the risks involved when you are investing in shares? The number one risk is price volatility because prices are never the same, it moves up and down, it can go up, it can come down. Okay, so now. We are buying these shares at 9 naira 75 Kobo. You can come back tomorrow and it's not 7 naira. It's not 8 naira. It's possible. So that is one thing I need you to bear in mind. But so far you are investing in good companies. You shouldn't worry because even though it comes down, it will still go back up. So yes, a stock might not perform as well as you expect it to. Bear that in mind. So is Fidelity Bank one of these great companies we are talking about? Is it one you should invest in? First of all, before this offer came out, I was telling those in our uh, World Builders Academy by FinTribe, and this is an academy you should be a part of because it's like a three weeks online school where you learn about investing, savings, growing your wealth, preserving your wealth, even investing in stock. We guide you, we hold you by the hand on how to do all of this thing. So I was telling them on the group when this offer came out that even before the offer came out, I was already considering Fidelity Bank because Afri Invest on their stock recommendation list they recommended that we should accumulate um, Fidelity Bank and you know the interesting thing the price they even recommended it is at is about 10 naira plus it's above 10 naira so I already had it on my radar and then the offer opened up and I'm telling us you can buy it at 9 naira 75 Kobo so that is even cheaper what I wanted to get it at so for me it was like a yes yes but then, for the fact that Jennifer is saying this doesn't mean that you should jump in. Or maybe I see everybody talking about it online, Fidelity Bank, Fidelity Bank. What are the questions you should ask yourself before you invest in Fidelity or any other bank or any other companies? So let me give you a summary or some analysis I did before I decided that, yes, I'm going into Fidelity Bank. Number one thing to look out for is customer confidence. The customers of this bank, do they believe in them? How do you gauge this? What has the deposits been like? Let's use Fidelity Bank, for example. I think two years ago, um, 2022, the uh, deposit was about 2.5, 2.6 trillion. And then the next year, it went as high as 4 trillion. That is like 60% growth in one year. And it is a good one. Like in the last five years, it keeps growing. And that is a positive thing to show you that, yes, Fidelity Bank customers, they trust them, they believe them, and they will keep bringing more money to the bank that is one number two a bulk of their funding comes from customer deposits and that is cheap money let's uh, let me explain what i mean so a bank can get funding either from you know when the customers bring in funds or they can go get loan go get debt like commercial paper now when you go for commercial paper you're going to be paying as high as 20 percent that is what is currently the average right and 20 something percent that is what you earn on commercial papers so if this bank was coming to the public to borrow money as from cp they're going to pay that high but because a bulk of their money comes from deposits, and in deposits, how much are they paying? How much does your bank pay you as savings? Most banks pay less than 5% on savings account. And sometimes you don't even get the um, interest because maybe you withdrew more than the uh, limit, okay? So on savings, 
the interest they pay is lower. And because a bulk of their money is from saving than debt, they're going to have higher returns. They're going to have higher income at the end of the day. And even when you look at how they make their money, a bulk of their money comes from interest from loan. So they loan out a lot of, I think over 70% goes to loan. And you know, when companies give out loan, do you know how much um, banks charge for loan? It's very high. Some charge as high as 30 something, for something percent. So if Fidelity is giving out a bulk of its money as loan, that means they are making good money. As I guess maybe when they invest it in an, a government investment that they can make less than 20% or thereabout. So I ensure me say Fidelity Bank is making good money. And when you look at their numbers, it is very nice. And that is the number one, three things you should look at. What is the number saying? Return on equity, return on investment. You know, look at some key ratios, efficiency ratios. How are these doing? So I will, might not be able to go into details on analyzing this number, but these are questions you should ask. Or if an analyst is analyzing a number for you, this are questions you should ask what are these figures saying and in the case of fidelity bank for what i saw it is looking good and number four thing that made me so confident that is even the cocoa so um coach Oge did an analysis and then we found out that the fair value price for fidelity bank is at 14 naira so if the fair value estimate is 14 naira and the price the stock is currently selling at 975 cobble that is that means it's undervalued yeah, because it's expected that over time, the price will go as high as that fair value of 14 naira. It might happen, it might not happen, but it could and it could exceed it. So if you are getting in now at a lower price, knowing that the fair value estimate can be as high as 14 naira, that is a good sign. That is also one of the reasons I decided, as you see Fidelity Bank, I am going in. So knowing all of this, now you make the decision, do you want to invest in the Fidelity offer or not? So if you decide to go ahead, there are two ways you can do this. You need to subscription form so you can submit at the branch or you can submit online i'm going to share my screen shortly so that i show you these two um processes but before that there are also a few things you need to note number one the minimum you need to buy is 1000 units one unit is 975 cobble 1000 units is about 9750 so that means you need at least 9,750 naira to buy into the public offer. And then you buy in multiples of 1,000. 1, what this means is you can buy 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, but you can't buy 3,005. You can't buy 1,005 units. No, it has to be in multiples of 1,000, 1, okay? So what, first of all, decide how the number of units you want to buy. Okay, I want to buy 10,000 units. Then multiply it by 9,750. That would be like 90 something thousand. So make sure you are doing a unit of 1,000. 1, and again, it's closing on July 29th. So if you are interested, make sure you fill and submit a subscription form before July 29th. And finally, do not do double um, application. If you fill and submit your form, don't fill again. So decide at once how much you want to do. Do it at once and submit. So that's that. Let me quickly share my screen now. I will show you the two ways. Whether you are filling and submitting online or you want to submit through any of the issuing houses because uh, there are some issuing houses on this transaction like AfriInvest, which I'm going to use their portal now to show you an example let's see so when you come to this form now i put together for both those that want to go to the bank and those that want to submit online so if you're able to walk into any fidelity bank you can go there and get the form or you can download it online fill it before you go to the bank so if you want to download it online if you click this link now it's going to take you to fidelity bank website okay so when you come to the fidelity bank website now it's still loading let's say you want to buy shares right you will see, scroll down you will see the public offer application form click on it to open when it opens this is the form okay this is the form go ahead fill it you will see the surname first name and everything there is something that might be a little issue chn and css number can you see it this one here these two chn and css number so if before now you have um, an account with any stock broker then you have chn and css if you've bought shares in the nigerian market before you have this number reach out to your broker to get the number if you don't have i think fidelity bank those that do not have you can fill and just submit leave that place open i think they will go ahead and create for you but you can also take charge of it you can go ahead with any um investment bank or any broker create an account just download that like afri investor 2.0 that's the one i use you can download it create account there and then get the css and ch number though it can take like 24 48 hours 
hours. So here is the form. Fill it and drop it at the bank. That is if you want to submit at the bank. Drop it and make your payment and everything. But if you are not able to go to the bank and you want to submit through any of the issuing houses, like Afri Invest. This Afri Invest has a link. This is the link. So let's open it and see what it looks like. So this one is for Afri Invest link. They are going to walk you through the process of filling the link. The good thing about this one is that if you don't have CSCS or CHN number, at a point, it will direct you to Afri Investor 2.0 where you can create your account and then come back and continue filling the form. So if you follow this link, you follow the prompt, they're going to start asking you, you know, different things. The following is required. Okay, they will tell you some of the things you need to do ahead of time. You need your BVN. Yeah, that one is true. You need your BVN and you need other things. If you are fine with this, you come to next. You see what they say here? Open a brokerage account. There's even the link. You can come here now. You can even just go straight to every investor, open your account, and then before you start filling the form, okay? Then let's go. Let's say you have all of these sets now. You can save this at any time. If you are filling, you can save it at any time. Okay, that is fine. And then go ahead and fill individual accounts, right? Yes, it's for individual. Now your name and everything. Just keep filling. You get to the point if you need that CS, CSS number or CHN number. And also, you get a point where you make payment and you need to show evidence of payment. After that, you still need to fill the form. Okay, but the only thing now, you will fill and submit the form through this channel when you keep going. If not... You can go to the bank. Then for those in diaspora, for people outside Nigeria, that is provision for you on the Fidelity website. Can you see? Buy from diaspora. This is for those in diaspora. There are four steps, okay? Number one is you will still download the form. You will still download the form here. You see it. Download application form one. You will go ahead like every other person complete the application number three you will make payments these are the means these are the payment channels and then you are going to email it to this email address info.investor at fidelitybank.ng this is for those in diaspora that are not in nigeria but if you are in nigeria come back here either you go to the branch fill the form submit it there at the branch or you are in nigeria but you don't have the time or you don't have any fidelity bank close to you this is what you do you follow the afri invest or any of the issuing house link so that you can fill and submit online and that's it